Hi, I'm Alexis Maiden-Merrick. I'm the political director of the Organic Consumers Association. And I'm in Whole Foods today in San Francisco. We just finished the Green Festival and some demonstrations against Whole Foods. And now we're here to return the food that we bought at Whole Foods to demonstrate um, to consumers that Whole Foods does sell genetically modified food that is unlabeled. And we're trying to teach people how to avoid the genetically modified foods at Whole Foods. And um, we should put some pressure on them to either stop selling genetically modified foods or at least label them so that consumers can avoid them. So we've got the vegetarian chili from Fantastic World Foods. Uh, we suspect this is a genetically modified food because it's not organic. It doesn't make any non-GMO claims. And on the ingredients list, it has as number one ingredient, textured soy protein. Bare Naked is a brand made by Kellogg's, which owns Kashi as well. And again, it's not organic, doesn't make any non-GMO claims, and it contains canola oil. Animal products are almost all genetically modified because most animals raised in mostly factory farms in this country are eating a corn soy ration and the corn and soy is genetically modified. If you see sugar and it's not cane sugar, then you can assume that there's a 50-50 chance that that's sugar beet sugar and is likely genetically modified. Ooh, this one has, we put labels on these for the Green Festival and this one still has a little bit of a sticky label. So I want to return this, I better get the label off. Tell them what it said. <laughs> the label said, oh no, is it GMO? And I don't think most consumers think when they go into a Whole Foods that there's any question about whether the food in the store might be genetically modified. So this does not have high fructose corn syrup in it, but it does have corn syrup. It does have sugar, not cane sugar, but just regular sugar that's likely from genetically modified sugar beets. It's got eggs in it, um, and the chickens were most likely fed corn and soy that was genetically modified and butter, and that butter might have come from a cow that was uh, injected with recombinant bovine growth hormone, RBG, which is a genetically engineered uh, hormone that's designed to make cows overproduce milk. It makes the cows pretty sick, gets pus in the milk, and it also increases the levels of IGF-1 in the milk, insulin-like um, growth factor, which is correlated with cancer in, in human beings. So this is another genetically modified product. Um, Yum! <laughs> the fact is, on most of these products, we're not making a claim that we know they're genetically engineered. We're making a claim that we don't know and that we need to know. And therefore, Whole Foods should label their genetically modified food. Again, we've got... Hi there, how's it going? How are you, John? Hey, how you doing, buddy? This is Arnaldo. Hello. One of the people who have been very accommodating and nice to us while we've been here. Maureen, right? Hi. Hey, good. Uh, Maureen, I'm alive. John, as long as you guys are okay here, yeah. we're okay with you. Yeah. So this is it. Try to uh, record the okay. sort of mini permission from our uh, region. Oh, sorry. Um, permission? No, we're going to be fine here. Okay. Uh, and if we if we do decide to go into the store proper, we'll we'll ask you. And but you said that's not possible anyway, right? You need permission? You will. We would have to contact. Us okay. Okay. No, we're good here. Do you okay. think? And if you have any other questions, I mean, feel free. We got Maureen there. Take a tour of the store with you to look at genetically modified foods that are sold at home. Um, you guys could probably walk through. I'm not selling it. If a customer were to ask you how to identify genetically modified foods and whole foods, what sort of guidance do you give them for for identifying on the shelves which products are genetically modified? I would recommend that they look at the their label and on channel product label. And then also correct them to the website. But I know that that's for, as, you know, it's like you can also say by organic, and that's how to find the foods that are not genetically modified. But how does a consumer identify the foods sold in Whole Foods that are genetically modified so that we can avoid them? Well, right now, we can do it later. I'm, I'm so, you okay to continue here? Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, thanks a lot, Thank you. Thank you. But you know we were coming? Or I know you are coming today, actually. Uh, 
this on our press release. Um, so to have that, because like, we bought a bunch of things that we think might be genetically modified. Can you tell us whether they are or not? Continue. You weren't stuck. It's okay. Keep going. I just want to listen to the Well, it would be great to learn something while I'm here from you. For instance, Kara syrup is um, made out of corn syrup. Is it genetically modified? Like I said, I can't do any interviews with you right now. I'm just kind of listening to what you guys are doing. Probably Okay. We don't know. Kara syrup genetically modified? Bought in the Whole Foods, but we're not exactly sure whether it's genetically engineered or not. Um, <laughs> They're good sports. So, um, how about glucose syrup? I've looked at some of the non genome buying guides and they say glucose syrup is often also made out of corn. Is that true? Like I said, I was going to be referred to someone from you. Well, that's what I've heard. So, this, these vitamins might contain genetically modified ingredients. Um, Bread. Um, this one has sugar. Do you, do you know if the sugar in this product is genetically modified? So, are you interviewing me still? Like I said, I'm not doing an interview. I was just going to watch you keep going. Because I've heard that um, the sugar, like 50% of the sugar in the country comes from sugar beets, and most of the sugar beets are genetically engineered. Do you, do you happen to know if this is sugar from sugar beets or if it's sugar from cane sugar? How about the um, how about the canola oil? It, it doesn't say it's um, it doesn't say it's really really nice to meet you, John. You were lovely. This Thank weekend. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for the help and the coffee Thank and, and the uh, flyers. Well, Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what she would say to a customer who asked her this question about whether these are genetically engineered ingredients. Well, I think it's I think. Um, it's incumbent upon Whole Foods management that they inform their employees to be able to answer these kinds of questions. Yeah. 